So today I'm talking about a P0326 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0326 code? Well, it's a NOx sensor one circuit range performance bank one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically engines have what's called NOx sensors and they're listening for any kind of knocking or any kind of vibration that's going on inside of the engine. And if they do detect something, they do hear like a knock or a pinging or anything like this. They report this information back to the computer, which is going to adjust the timing a little bit until the knocking or pinging or vibration goes away. But when you get a P0326 code, the computer is seeing some kind of problem with the knock sensor one. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, you're going to have two banks on the engine. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your cylinder locations on your engine, since there is differences and you find cylinder number one, then that's going to be the bank one side. And the opposite of that would be bank two. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0326 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is that knock sensor has gone bad and just needs to be replaced. Or it could be in the wiring going to the knock sensor. And so there's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. The first thing to do is go locate that knock sensor on your particular engine, since the location is really going to vary. Also, there could be more than one knock sensor. After you find the knock sensor one, you can go through and test the wiring and be sure that it's good. And then if the wiring is good, then you can go and test the knock sensor. One thing to mention about these knock sensors is that quite often they're located in very hard to read spots. For example, they could be located up underneath an intake manifold and things like this. Sometimes you've got to tear apart a lot of the engine just to get to them. And so for this reason, a lot of people, they'll relocate the knock sensor somewhere else on the engine. I don't recommend doing this, but a lot of people do this. This is very common. And basically, they'll go buy a new knock sensor, then they'll mount it straight onto the block somewhere. It's going to need to be connected to the engine very well. And then they connect the wires that's running back to the computer. Like I said, this is very common. A lot of people do this. One thing about this method is that it can help you troubleshoot what the problem is. It can't tell you whether or not the knock sensor is bad or it's in the wiring. Because if you do go buy a new knock sensor and you relocate it and you connect the wires going to the new knock sensor, you clear the code. And if the code comes back, then you know it's going to be in the wiring somewhere because you do have a new knock sensor mounted directly to the engine. So you can use this method to troubleshoot what the problem is. But the most common things that's going to cause this is either a bad knock sensor or the wiring running to it. And one thing to note about knock sensor codes is that if there is some kind of issue going on with the engine, like the timing's off a little bit and it's causing the engine to knock, then that can throw a knock sensor code, but it's not the problem. The cause in that case is because the timing's off a little bit. Well, for example, say you have an old timing chain, the timing chain's getting really old and it's really stretched out and it's throwing the timing off a little bit. Well, this can cause issues that's going to cause a knocking or a pinging in the engine. And so this knock sensor is going to pick it up and then it's going to throw out a knock sensor code and the computer is going to be trying to adjust the timing. Usually if that happens, you're going to be having a lot of other issues. You very likely will be getting a lot of other codes and things like this. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But just keep in mind that if there is some kind of issue going on with the engine, then that can cause like a knocking, a pinging or a vibration and it can trigger some kind of knock sensor code. So the last thing on the list is going to be an engine malfunction. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0326 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.